when they always talk about this it almost make it sound like it's so extremely common that just suddenly a guy we have never ever heard of before just suddenly appears and it turns out well he is very close to becoming king of the world in becoming the top hero I mean hi for those who are watching it's the Angry Enemy fan, the Despair Reviewer, and I'm of course talking about uh, Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 1, 2, 3. Last time we were introduced to the top 3, now we see a little bit more glimpse of them. First is Amai Kiji, apparently the chicken hero or whatever. He seems to have a, a pretty weird personality, the, however, I'll do that. He gives them some strong glare, and a, but only sees them as potatoes. And since seems to have a little arrogant personality in saying I don't believe in them anything, and then he just uh, turns around and he just says he wants to go home. So, but uh, he but the girl whose name is uh, Me Hado, I think, is. Um, mentions that this guy is Tamaki Ajikiji and the, the who she calls the chicken and she says her name is Nejire Hado and she seems to be more of a curious child despite being older than those here because she has short attention span she immediately is curious about something else and else ignores I don't know if that a jerk ass is he or yes because well natural airhead of course she said something about uh, Mineta's uh, fruit balls and he takes that as sexual harassment which he actually takes very gladly for and finally they ask uh, uh, about the last guy the guy that we all saw last week but didn't see about the guy who could face through everything his name is uh, Mirio and well he seems to be a bit of a large ham very 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 typical of uh, all might. Uh, so maybe it is. So maybe it is him that was the known successor. Either way, he screams a lot of things and says the journey ahead. But the guy, guys, do not exactly know what that is. So um, he just says uh, that um, uh, the jur the 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 internships are not even a requirement. You, uh, even though you acquired the license first year, they need to be in generic. So uh, he asks them all to team up all against him. Yeah, that's right. The guy is that confident that he could take them all down. So uh, he says that only by seeing my experience we, you can realize the gap and what we need to do. So they, they decide to fight against all of these. And although the guy that's facing against the wall is says this is a waste of time, and if you do fight them, they will never ever get back up from the field anymore. So, uh, but the first years have become a little bit confident since they fought against villains and stuff, and saying like, "Are you underestimating us, senpai? We will go all strong." But Miro just says that he can do it. But Bakuga, no, no Bakuga. Midoriya shows his character development here because he decides that he want to go for, forth now and, and bridge the gap between us in three days. So I guess Midoriya has now become even more desperate on becoming number one. So uh, he decides to test just how wide is the distance between us as they all uh, decides to ask, attack the guy. And here he, we show his uh, facing powers. And uh, it's a pair because we also saw a, a previous moment of this chapter where Midura says, Where have I seen this guy before? He saw him on the festival when he saw that. And uh, apparently, the guy was very much naked all the time, and now we know why. Turns out his facing power is not uh, uh, everybody has clothes power. No, he faced through even his clothes. But uh, he seems to have learned for a way to keep his pants on at least because he loses his shirt. And here's something that's even stranger. Jiro gets extremely embarrassed by that. Why am I saying that's strange? Well, I always thought she was a lesbian. But then again, she may, anyone would feel, whatever if you're lesbian or not, anyone would feel a little bit embarrassed by seeing that, I guess. 
So um, he says something like fine attunements. As Midria tries to attack attack him, it turns out that uh, he, he uh, this guy can not only face through things, he can even face through uh, well people. And he faces and ever even though everybody attacks with their gun mad attack, he appears before them and binds all the long reach as the wall guy says like the 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 first years are amazed by his quirk, saying it's very powerful. However, according to the the f wall guy, I mean the guy who's facing on the wall, Mirio's quirk is actually something not so extremely un extraordinary, nor something to be envied of. Or the one thing that should be envied is in is Mirio's incredible technique, because in just four seconds, or is it five minutes? No, I think it was just five seconds. He single-handedly wraps up every single one of them. After being scouted, he because he devoted himself under a certain hero. Wonder who that guy is. And so Eraserhead says the one thing I actually have a very much what the hell moment. And that is uh, Mirio Togata, which is his full name, is apparently a man who is closest to become number one, and that includes even the pro-heroes. And yet we have not even heard of him until now! <sighs> Introducing all these hot shots and blah 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 and stuff like that. Although it is very clear that he is extremely powerful. But this also made something that is also very nice, you know. And that is, a lot of people, I mean in the manga, have complained about, oh, my quirk is not so powerful, it's so lame, and blah, 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 stuff like that. However, Miryu, I think, is the ultimate reminder to those guys that uh, you don't have to have a flashy quirk to kick ass. After all, he, uh, because, I'll, don't get me wrong, facing through everything is pretty amazing talent, but given to the fact that he, even his clothes face through, well, I would say that's actually a power not everybody would like to have. But the fact that he has, uh, he's also pretty muscular built, by the way, so he is actually a reminder that not all heroes can have flashy quirks. So... And and but that doesn't mean they have to give up. They can re they can tune their moments and create enormous amount of awesomeness and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this is very cool, very cool indeed. But at the same time, full of despair. He seems to scream power a lot too. I do wonder though if Bakugo was there, would Bakugo have fallen as easily as them? Actually, I don't think so. Just to remind us just how brilliant Bakugo is. But I wouldn't have minded seeing Mirio actually making f short work of uh, Bakugo too. But the line is very deep for the first years and the third years, even though these are the uh, third years. I mean, even though this is a guy who's closest to becoming number one. Still don't exactly know how that is possible. Can't we just get a list on who is closest to becoming number one? And why is he, can he become number one? Is it because he is just that good? Or is it because he's just that popular? Because we can't forget that people always give some end of war some moments. He is amazing, but, he cannot, but he's always being compared to All Might. So give me your thoughts if you have any. 